next we're going to talk about how to develop a game plan. Now I'm going to sit here and watch Andy and Michael play a match, and I'm going to kind of talk and, and uh, interrupt and kind of tell you the things that I look for when I'm watching a potential opponent that I could be playing in the next round or uh, sometime later in the tournament. I'm going to, I'm going to show you the, uh, or tell you the techniques, the strategy, the, the flaws that I'm looking for um, when I'm scouting an opponent. Good lob. All right, now if we can stop right there. Michael had very good core positioning. That's something I noticed. Um, Andy hit a kind of a sloppy pass shot, but it ended up jamming Michael. Now the reason it jammed Michael, even though he had good core positioning, I noticed one thing about Michael is he doesn't change grips between his forehand and backhand. So if I'm scouting Michael and I notice that, then odds are when I play him, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna try and keep the majority of my shots to Michael's backhand. Um, just because so far that seems like it could be his weaker side. Now let's see what else happens. Okay, 